So I used these images of a person, a product, and a setting, plugged them into this software, and got a stunning video ad as a result. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the same so you can take real world elements and generate any kind of video content you can imagine using your consistent real world objects. If you own a business or you work for any kind of business, this is a massive use case for unlocking and translating your business assets like products into the digital, the creative world of AI video. That's what we're going to do in this one. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's go. Now we're doing this with Vidu. And Vidu is an AI video generation platform that just launched their Q2 model. And this represents something pretty significant in the space. We've moved from what I would call AI generated content to AI performed content. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a second. But first, let's talk about reference generation, which is the flagship feature we're focusing on in this video. So traditional image to video tools let you upload one image and then animate that image. But reference generation changes around this entire dynamic. You can now upload up to seven reference images in a single video generation. These can be characters, scenes, props, whatever it is that you need or want to include in that video. And the video model doesn't just animate these separately. Rather, it intelligently combines all of these references into one cohesive video while preserving the details and the consistency of the individual assets in those images in that final video. And what this effectively lets you do is translate multiple real world assets, a product, a person, an office, a color theme, and pull them into the exact vision that you have. So you could have, say, a character reference, a specific product that you want featured, a scene or environment, and a prompt. And Vidu will understand the spatial relationships, then take your prompt and blend all of those elements into one fluid, consistent, and professional looking video. And now the Q2 model specifically brought some breakthrough improvements that make this system actually useful for real work. And when I say upgraded, I mean even better than Sora 2 in some regards. We're talking sharper facial expression consistency and facial refinement that can, again, outperform Sora 2 in those regards. You're also talking professional camera movements like zooms and pans, faster generation speeds, and semantic understanding so that the AI actually understands and reasons through what it is that you want. Now, they've also extended video length controls, which is critical. You probably know this if you've tried to play around with video generation before, and especially if you need shots to match certain lengths inside of your video or your ad. So you can now freely choose the duration of your shot up to eight seconds. So if you want a two second clip or an eight second clip, you just select that duration. And this results in something that is more controllable, more affordable, and more efficient than what we've seen before in this space. Now we're going to dive into all of that. And before we do, again, Vidu Q2 just launched globally. And if you want to follow along with the workflows and demos that we're about to dive into, you can get started completely free at vidu.com. That is V-I-D-U.com. And they're offering upgraded accounts with free credits for new users. So you can test out reference generation and all the features that we're going to explore over the next few minutes. To do that, again, just go to this link or the link in the description to sign up and claim those extra credits. And again, that is entirely free, so you can follow along with the demos and the walkthroughs that we're going to look at in this video. And a quick announcement as well. They're launching a brand new feature around October 20th, and that's video extension. And this lets you add extra scenes to already generated features. So if you're watching this video after that date, then make sure to go try out that feature additionally in the link in the description. And so in the next few minutes, we're gonna jump into my computer, get a demo of the platform and walk through some specific use cases so that after watching this video, you know exactly how to create reference generated videos with multiple images yourself. That said, let's go. Okay, so this is what the Vidu platform looks like. You can see templates, short films, tutorials, different ads that are created. Now to use the function or feature that we're focusing this video on, so reference to video, you go under tools here on the left side menu, go to reference to video, and here you can see that we're in the little reference to video tab. So you can use pro mode or the basic mode. I can turn off pro mode. 
uh, and then I can just describe what it is and then attach my images or I'll turn pro mode back on. Now, what's really important to note here is that you can actually reference these specific images. So what I'll do is click try a sample. And you can see in the sample, I have a person, I have a horse and I have a setting. And what I can literally do in the prompt here is say, image one is writing image two running fast in image three. So you can contextually, and here's where you can start to see why this is so powerful, incorporate and tell the AI how you want really your different images or references incorporated into your final video. Then to create it, you just go ahead and click create. And this is what you're going to see in a little bit in some of the demos. If you also just wanna create additional images, not video, you press right on the top here and you'll go to reference to image or you press back to go back to reference to video. And again, you can see all kind of AI sound effects, templates and inspiration throughout the rest of the website. That said, let's get into demo number one. So the first two demos here are gonna be focused around products. The third is gonna be a little more focused on the creator side, so we can still incorporate a product, but it's more about B-roll or content or some kind of more general piece of video content as opposed to ads. Now, you know how we do it on the channel. What we do is for some of these examples, use AI end to end to showcase how that product can work. So what we're gonna do is jump into ChatGPT here and we're gonna start off with an e-commerce product ad and how to create that with reference images. So I'm gonna say to ChatGPT, come up with a e-commerce top selling product and then a creative ad for that product. So we'll see what ChatGPT comes up with. We have Cool Cap, a portable neck fan baseball hat located in a sunny city park with a guy jogging past or a self-watering mini garden lamp and a paw print pillow, custom pet face pillow. I don't know about a pet face pillow. I think we're between the mini garden lamp or cool cap. I think I like moss light the most. So what we're going to do is find an image of a cozy apartment, a young woman, a cat, and a mug of tea. And then the final image we'll need is the actual product itself. And this is where I'm gonna pull in an additional AI tool. So that tool is gonna to be ChatGPT image generation. What I'm going to say is generate an image of the Moss Light product. Then I'll go research and pull some of these other images. This looks like the coziest apartment ever. I'm kind of in love with this place. Let's use that. Here is our woman that is working. Here's our cup of tea. And finally, our ginger cat. And now here's the image that was generated of the product itself. So what I'm going to do is screen share it, or excuse me, screen shot it. And this is what we'll use for that ad as well. So now I'm gonna jump back into video. I'm gonna to go to reference to video, and then I'm going to add these images. So forget the previous example, I'm going to add all of the images we got right here. And now we have the little tags for the five images. So now I'm going to add kind of the context for the bot. So I'm gonna say, this is an ad for image one. The ad should be in the setting of image five, where the product is on the desk. There's a woman image four working at that desk with a cup of tea, which is image three, and a cat curled up image two. So that's all we're, we're going to say. We have the images, we have the description. Now what I'm gonna do is turn on pro mode and AI is going to optimize that prompt for me. And there we go. Here is that enhanced prompt, which actually understands based on the image, the product, like you can see emitting a soft mist right here. And then what I'm going to do is click create and we'll let it work its magic. Now, while this is creating, I want to mention one little add-on feature here, which is what's called references. So instead of adding images, what you can also do is click on references and see a library of pre-existing reference images and collections. So you can see 
uh, a motor little motorbike there, a firefighter, right, a, a giant in a city. And so you can pull from these and pull them into this reference to video creation if that's something that you want, or you can just save your own right here under my tab. Okay, it's done. Let's check this out. Okay, that's totally awesome, right? You can see this is the actual location, the actual product, the woman, like genuinely this is an ad you could run for e-commerce. And really what you wanna do is take multiple of these shots, think through the ad, and then merge them together into your final product. Okay, that was really cool. Now for demo number two, I wanna cover another kind of variation of this kind of product ad with the reference to video feature. Now this is a little piece of technology that I recently got sent from a company. This is one of the world's first AI recorders that you can clip onto your body. Now I haven't seen any kind of ad for this in a studio type setting, so we're going to generate that. And what's really cool, I'm gonna take a physical photo just of this product and then feed a background, like a studio background into the reference generation. And we'll see how that turns out and how professional it looks. And this is not very professional, right? This is just a photo on my iPhone, but we're gonna see how good the AI can make it. Okay, and then I think this right here looks like a pretty awesome background. So that's what we're going to use. And the image in my head is this kind of spinning around in 3D. Okay, so I'm going to upload the image of the product and the background, and then I'll say my product is an AI voice recorder piece of technology. I want an ad where it spins in 3D in the studio background with the gold. The product is image, image one in the background. Now in the settings here, the default here is Q1. Remember Q2 is the big update. We're gonna change this to Q2. Then I can select the duration. Let's go seven seconds, we'll go no dubbing, uh, resolution, we wanna stick with full quality, so 1080. And then I'm gonna change one to three. So this is gonna create three different videos from the same prompt, and then we're going to pick the best one that we like. I'm gonna create, let's go. Okay, they're done. And remember, I just took a photo of this thing on my iPhone with one image, and let's watch through all three of these and choose our favorite. So in fact, this was so detailed that it took the little marks on this thing and translated it into the model. That is how accurate and detailed this video is. That's number one. Here's number two. Ooh, I like the spin. I like the zoom in. And here's number three. Okay, I think I like number two the best. Let me know which one you like though. And you can see, this is full on like 3D modeling. This stuff used to take hours, many hours, a lot of money, professionals to make. And now you can do it by taking a photo of your product on your iPhone. That is demo number two. Demo number three is gonna be a fun one. Now, like I said, this third demo is going to be a little bit more general, B-roll, kind of content focused. What I'm going to do is upload a photo of myself, a camera, and a location that I could travel to. And this would basically be B-roll that I could use in a video of me in that location with a camera. Let's get a photo of that. Now to choose a setting, we're gonna go to the random place generator and click generate places. Top one is, I don't know even how to pronounce this, but we're going to go to this place in Afghanistan. Okay, that is actually, is that actually Afghanistan? Okay, if that's actually Afghanistan, that's genuinely crazy. That just, there's there's no way. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is, this is Europe. What we're going to do is go with this image. I think that's a little bit more accurate. Let's save that. Okay, now what we're going to do is upload those two images, and then I'm also going to pull in a headshot of me. I want you to take the person in image three and have them holding the camera in. Oh, I wrote image three there. Let's pull in image three. Located in Afghanistan at the place in image one. They can be walking with the camera and it can look cinematic. 
We'll keep it on Q2. We'll set duration to four seconds and generate three again. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that is like actually the black shirt I'm wearing right now. I guess I am always wearing black shirts, but this footage is pretty awesome, right? Like B-roll wise, that's perfect. And there you go. That is three demos now, products, creatives, any type of video you can imagine. You can now see the magic because again, it is this actual referencing, pulling in images thing and making them work in one that I think is genuinely really powerful and a step forward in this AI video domain. So you've now seen reference generation in action and some of the capabilities that the Q2 model brings to the table. Now my hope is that at least one of those use cases clicked for you, whether you're creating product ads, social content, or just experimenting with what's possible in the AI video space right now. If that's the case, again, you can get started completely for free at vidu or vidu.com and claiming your upgraded account with free credits. So make sure to use the link in the description. That's what's going to give you the extra credits that really put the platform through its bases. So go start creating with reference generation right now. And again, if you're seeing this after October 20th, then there's a brand new video extension feature in there that we weren't able to demo in this video because it hasn't been released. But if you're watching this after the date, when you head to the website, make sure to give that a go yourself.